Hey guys, welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for coming along as I flip this thrifted chair. So this is a chair that I got from Goodwill and I can't remember if it was $2? I can't remember, but it was really, really cheap. I showed it in one of my hauls a while ago and I'm finally getting to um, redoing it. And this is the condition it was in. It was kind of falling apart and these, I don't know what those are called, but they were falling off and some of the material was ripping. So I thought it had good bones and it was, I loved the shape of the chair. So I thought I would pick it up just for a couple dollars and try and flip it. So I'm starting by removing some of the fabric and there are so many nails. If you haven't repurposed um, or reupholstered anything, there are so many nails and staples and stuff that you have to remove. It's crazy. But I just started taking it apart to see what I needed to replace and you know what was still usable. And for the most part, it was pretty good. There wasn't too much that was that was in awful shape. I'm going to keep these things. Make sure you keep anything that you pull off as far as the fabric so that you can either reuse it or cover it or, um, you know, use it as a template to make something else out of other fabric. And my husband has to tighten the arms. They're a little bit wiggly. And you have to be really careful with these nails. They are super sharp. But I wasn't able to pull that off, so I'm just going to cut it because I don't I don't need it. <laughs> And I'm going to be keeping all of the piping in case I need to recover it and put it back on, which I know I will for the arms. And this chair gave me so much hassle, but in the end I ended up using um, these really pretty upholstery nails I'll show you here shortly. quick I wanted to let you know that this furniture flip is part of a collab that I'm doing with Sonia from Domestic Diva. She has a really fun channel I think you should check out if you're into DIYs, trash to treasure. She does a little bit of everything. She has cleaning inspiration. She has a lot of yummy looking recipes, how-to tutorials. So I definitely think you should check her out when you're done watching my channel. Show her some love and tell her I sent you. And let's get back to the project. I am going to use the same cushion. It was in really good shape. And I decided to pull apart the top, leave it on there, but pull it apart because I still wanted to use it to um, attach the other fabric to. So I just measured the size I would need and each um, each of the measurements I added two inches to that way I you know could fold the fabric over kind of like a, a hem. And then I just cut it out and flipped the chair on its back so that it was easier and I had um, more of a sturdy surface to work with when I was hammering in the nails. And I'm using this adhesive spray to attach um, this fabric to the fabric that's already there. And I don't know if it's necessary. This is the first time I've ever reupholstered anything, so um, I'm just kind of winging it, I guess. I've watched a couple um, tutorials, and some of them say to use the fabric or the adhesive spray. Some people don't use it at all. Um, but anyway, I folded it over, and here is my first mistake. I started in the center, which I shouldn't have. I should, <laughs> I should have started in one of the corners. But I, um, 
was trying to, I guess, hold down the fabric where I wanted it so that it was tight. But anyway, start from the corners if you're going to do this yourself <laughs> because my um, measurements were a little bit off and I, you do want nails in the corners. Um, so anyway, I just spaced my nails out every two inches, making sure that the fabric was pulled tight each time. And this is what I mean. I was just a little bit off from the very corner. So I'm just going to have to kind of work with it. I'm just going to add a little bit of the adhesive spray and hope that it holds. And so far so good. I like how it's turning out. And then I tried to do the back, but it just wasn't working out. You'll find with doing um, upholstery, you are going to bend a lot of nails, especially if you're new. I, I know there's got to be a trick or I think all upholsters would be bald because they would be pulling out their hair because <laughs> I bent so many of these nails trying to get them in and I don't know how or why, but I did find if I pushed the nails in a little bit um, into the wood before I started hammering them, I was less likely to bend the nails. I don't know if that makes sense, but it worked for me sometimes. So after I got the back attached, I flipped the chair upright and then um, took these side pieces. I ended up removing these, but um, I kept the little cushiony part. I don't know what any of it's called. So if you're into upholstery, feel free to let me know <laughs> any tips or tricks that you have and the names of things. But anyway, I nailed those back and there was no way I was going to be able to nail all of those back in so I just removed that put the cushion on so that I could measure from front to back all the way behind the chair and then side to side and this was another area I didn't know what I was doing so I left the fabric um, with like all the fabric I didn't end up cutting it I did measure it but I didn't end up cutting it yet because I wasn't sure how I was going to work around the legs so I just repeated the same process as I did with the back and still was off with a little bit with my measurements. So it looks a little bit uneven, but I'm not too worried about it with the price of the chair. And I got this fabric for just a couple dollars in the clearance section at um, one of the fabric stores in town. So all in all, maybe everything was like 10 bucks. The upholstery nails were only, I think, 90 cents each per pack, and I got four packs from Walmart. I think I showed that earlier in the video. But this is where I'm remov removing that um, edging piece and using some of the adhesive spray and attaching the side. Each time I was stretching the fabric, and I think if I were to do this again, I would attach the front and attach the back and then the sides because doing it this way I left a little bit too much fabric in the back so it bunched and then after doing the seat of the chair I'm going to take those um, the where the armrests were I'm taking that cover piece off and tracing it so that I have my little template with the fabric that I'm using. And of course I didn't get all of that because my camera died. <laughs> so after I cut it out, I just attached it with, um, I sprayed some of that adhesive spray onto the fabric and then covered the, um, the existing piping or cord, I'm not sure what it's called. I just cut a strip of the fabric that I was using and then hot glued it because my glue gun is high heat so it holds really really well i know this is probably not how you would do it you'd probably sew it on but like i said this is my first time i'm definitely going to be doing some research on how to reupholster because it would be nice to be able to do more things but i actually was really frustrated with this project it took so long to do so i attached that to the chair with my glue gun and um you can use really tiny nails to attach it as well in the front and the back but you can't even see them so that's nice so here is the finished project like i said the seat looked um the fabric looked like it was more bunched up than i wanted it to 
But all in all, for my first time, I'm pretty happy with it. And like I said, if you have any tips or tricks for upholstering, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate anything that you can share with me. So thanks so much guys for all your love and support and all your help. I love getting your guys' ideas and tips when I have stuff like this. It really, really helps me out. So let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys would like to see up and coming and I'll see you next time. Bye!